5.30 yesterday afternoon, police arrive here. They find a 32-year-old Victor Munoz dead in the street from several gunshots. Munoz's girlfriend tells police her ex-husband followed the couple here, confronting her boyfriend and shooting him, all while three children watched in the car. That ex-husband is a 35-year-old Elaborio Carrillo. Two of those kids are his. Police immediately start searching for Carrillo and his friends start snitching. People that we talked to said he, he had a temper. Uh, there was a domestic violence history. Police find a friend drops him off at this day's end. At about 1.30 this morning, the commands begin and police evacuate surrounding rooms. People said he was suicidal. Obviously, he was homicidal. Uh, he didn't turn himself in right after shooting somebody. Police say they talked briefly to Carrillo before he hung up the phone. A few hours later, they bombed tear gas into his room. That's when Carrillo fired several shots. Police wait and wait for more than four hours, never hearing anything else inside here. About 10.30 this morning, police go into the bathroom and find Carrillo with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Police say he used the same pistol to shoot himself as he did to shoot his ex-wife's boyfriend. They're now investigating to see how others helped Carrillo purchase his pistol or drive him to this motel. Everybody wants to solve a murder.